welcome once again, J76NY here, and this is episode number 90 of our playthrough of the Pacific Campaign on War on the Sea. Uh, currently May 9th, 1943, day 438 of the campaign. Uh, it's 4 o'clock, almost 5 o'clock in the afternoon, so uh, air operations are about to end, um, which is a good thing because down here we have uh, three or four task forces moving in on Singapore to bombard. Um, started the episode off with uh, the southern force right here, or invasion north, actually, uh, with the Bogue getting attacked as they dropped off their troops at Tawi Tawi. Uh, situation on Tawi Tawi is so-so. Uh, mostly it's because of the lack of supplies that we have up there. Um, right now I don't have any supplies going into this area. Uh, we're just going to try and overwhelm them with numbers and hopefully that works. Uh, Tawi Tawi is one of the victory condition objectives um, that we have to take. Uh, the troops that are on Manila are going to station on Tawi Tawi until they have enough uh, supplies available to basically sweep this island clean. Uh, and then at some point they're probably going to uh, meet up here for the invasion of Singapore. Uh, these troops down here on Jakarta, we have... 33,000 of them. They're going to be moving to Palembang. Um, I think if we can get our northern force to take these and then link up, move from Jakarta here and uh, possibly Kuching or Banja Mason move over to Singapore. The combined forces of North and South should be enough to take uh, Singapore. Uh, problem being, uh, Malaya and their level 4 airfield is probably going to cause us a lot of problems going in. Um, so we're going to be concentrating a lot of our air assets in this area here to provide a uh, cap on the way in and on the way out for our various convoys. Um, the plan after that is, once we have Singapore, we're going to leave enough of a force back here that they can't land and retake it. Try and draw the line out like this. And then our invasion fleet... is probably going to station on Guam for a little bit. Uh, I want to build up enough supplies that we can take into Okinawa and Iwo Jima with the troops, and so we're not trying to hustle supplies uh, quickly from Midway to make up for a deficit there. Uh, but right now, we have the air attack on Task Force Tar Heel. Uh, we do have the Crimson Tide Battle Group almost in Singapore. Our combat air patrol is either coming or going from the carriers that are down here. I'm probably going to move them a little bit closer. We could actually do that right now. Uh, Task Force Neptune only has one Hellcat to provide, uh, so I didn't even launch both of these. Fleet carriers, the Hornet and the uh, Intrepid, are the ones that are providing cap for our surface groups. Um, that boat class probably has to go back at some point to rearm their air wing. Uh, but for now, they're going to hold position. Um, they actually split Task Force Neptune up. Because we've got a pretty solid escort for a escort carrier that currently is not serving a purpose. Uh, so I could probably split them up between these two groups here, um, reform them, and uh, then have a little more surface protection for our 
fleet carriers. Uh, but for now, Task Force Tar Heel is going to have to defend against an air attack. It's going to be interesting to see how this all uh, plays out once we get on the um, tactical map with the planes that we have either inbound or outbound. So let's uh, see what happens here. And we have our cap racing to catch up to these guys that are uh, moving in on us. This is making me a little nervous here. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, these guys really should probably start breaking and doing some serious maneuvers. I don't know if they're gonna be Dive bombing or dive suiciding me. Looks like they're bombing. Yeah, they're bombing. Oh, put some pretty bad hits there. Got the next group in. Looks like they're all going for the same uh, ship. Yep, they're pushing over there. Have you turn a little bit. Yep, they're dropping. Ouch. Uh, this one's going after North Carolina. This group's going after North Carolina for sure. Our cap is just not going to be able to get there. They dropped. Some pretty bad hits there. Got one left out of the whole flight. Hopefully we can get them down with our uh, AA. Cap's still trying to catch up here. But we did take some, uh, some pretty major damage. North Carolina, Amsterdam's just about dead in the water. Let's get North Carolina turning. Oh, actually, we should probably just have you. Turn down here before you run into the ship. Uh, damages on North Carolina are... They're moderate, but looks like we can get just about everything fixed. Amsterdam, on the other hand, uh, took some pretty major hits. Uh, engineering compartments are damaged, but fixable, so uh, that is a bonus. Uh, as long as we can get these fires out and under control. So let's uh, bring our ships to a stop. aided the uh, fire control parties in putting out the flames there. North Carolina, not the first time she's been burning in this uh, in this playthrough, but I think she'll be just fine. She'll be the one to get in there and uh, actually finish off that airfield, so we'll get the damages fixed. We'll get in. Uh, not much left in the day. It's, I think, 5 o'clock, so... Uh, the danger of air attack is uh, diminishing as we speak. Um, depending on how the cruiser over there looks at the end of the uh, repair period, I may send her back if she's uh, just going to be an impediment to the uh, rest of the fleet on the tactical map. Crimson Tide's turn. Don't have a lot of uh, elbow cap, but they're going to do what they can. Go ahead and open fire. There we go. All right, stop firing. 
There's a lot of them. Hopefully they're not all going for the same group here. Uh, let's break these guys off, try and get them maneuvering a little bit. Maybe they'll survive. Oh, come on, don't give up. Don't give up. Are they dropping? Oh, wow. But they did drop. And hit. They ran right into me. We got one dud, one uh, direct hit by a bomb. We got another flight that's inbound. You hear those bombs falling now. Oh, man, we're just taking a pound in here with our... Uh, Our poor battleships. Alabama's got to get out of the way of everybody and get those fires under control. Just order the uh, the whole convoy to come to a stop. But we are. Uh, yeah, she's the closest one in. Now we have two battleships that are really looking for some uh, some major retribution here. So, not a good sight right there. Not a good sight at all. All right, it's eight o'clock at night, Crimson Tide, first up to bat. Uh, we're looking at level four and level five. Let's see if we can uh, knock that down with all of these groups. All right, you head out. Task Force Mo is next up. Task Force Tar Heel right behind her with Task Force Empire bringing up the tail. All right. Mo, do your thing. I see the circle shrinking, but not shrinking as fast as I would like it. Tar Heel. Parade of battleships coming in to wipe them out. Here we go. That was a real good one. All right. Empire, your turn. Out you go. Now, what are we looking at for Singapore? Nothing. Ha, sweet. There. Ash. Uh, that leaves Task Force Oz. Task Force Oz hasn't been in to bombard anyone just yet. Uh, Task Force Mo. <coughs> A ways to go to get back there, but it is the closest spot to rearm. So back you go. And the other ones are going to follow. Uh, Task Force Oz. Uh, I'll figure out what to do with Task Force Oz. I, this is the logical next step. I just don't know if uh, sending a single fleet in to do anything about that would be worth it. Looking at the damaged Anderson with South Force after dropping off their supplies or their troops. A uh, flight of four coming in on our rear. Our cap is once again racing to get into the right position before they do too much damage on our empty transports. Thank you. Thankfully, they're empty transports. Actually, this is like just a group of three. Are they going to drop first? Yep. Yeah. We may lose this transport here. Now we get them on the way out. I do have an overabundance of transport, so if I lose an empty transport, uh, I don't want to really say I'm okay with that, but it's a lot 
better than losing a loaded transfer. And anytime you guys want to start shooting is fine with me. Yeah, there goes our transport. Problem is these guys outpace me. If I could have everybody unload on them. They are shooting at me, so... I don't think uh, it's really worth it. They dropped their bombs. They did their damage. And there you see the result. These guys really want Guam back. They really want Guam back. We have six ships. Oh, let's Oh, why not? Let's send them with bombs. They don't need to go far anyway. We'll send them up. Or that for the time being. If we can get any more, uh, there we go. Yeah. Alright, well, we're going to do this. Probably just zeros. Uh, we have plenty of cap, so not really too worried about it. Uh, I am going to launch out. I'm going to probably just do that now. I'm going to launch our Havocs. I'll give them six 500-pound bombs, send them up. And uh, take care of this supply convoy here. But first, we have to do this. So it's actually three. Three ships, not six, which I'm okay with. Um, let's go through everybody, make sure their bomb bay doors are open. Three flights of three moving in on individual targets. They haven't started maneuvering yet. They're putting up some flak, but that is okay. And drop. Right, we'll see how we did on the first one here. I think I might have been a little bit off. I wasn't well, maybe not. Havix can always run back in and strafe too, so. We'll have them circle the convoy here. Alright, next group's moving in. A little bit off. Then the uh, following group's coming in as well. Swing you in nice and slow. Make sure it's zoomed in right this time. They 
actually have to uh, actually have to come back around for this guy. It's not looking too bad, I guess. There we go. Then our last group out here. We're going to number three. Have you turn to the south or to the uh, west a little bit? There, that was a good strike on that guy. I guess it would be he's going down, then we'll just have the uh, whatever's left. This guy. Did we already hit number three? Yeah, we gotta go after number one here. I am okay with uh, dropping the Havocs down and sending them in to do some strafing, so uh, we'll get our bombs on target number one. And then see what the damages are and what we have to do. There's already one of them going down, so... I'm thinking uh, number three might actually... Well, number three is not looking too bad, so we're going to be doing some strafing. Okay, we have our weekly drop of troops, supplies, and man points. So we're going to load up the barn supply convoy. And get them headed on their way. Let's grab troop view. Might as well grab the rest of the troops here. Seven hundred and sixty five troop or uh, supplies left. So this needs to head hmm. where to go, where to go. We do have an inbound supply convoy somewhere, probably right here. Oh, yeah, right here. They do have supplies, uh, not a whole lot, <clears throat> but they're gonna kick off the invasion of Palmang. Once they get down there, they're gonna these guys, this clump, gonna load up the troops that we have on Jakarta and head on over. Uh, Tawi Tawi is just about under our control. We got 56,200 
some odd troops fighting with their hands and starving because they don't have any supplies, but they're doing a pretty good job. Uh, barn supply convoy. I'll send you just down in this general direction for now. And then we've got a fuel convoy up here. Um, midway. Let's throw together. Hmm. We have for heavy cruisers. Oh, we got all the, uh... All the Northamptons. The Wichita itself. Got the Baltimores now, too. I've never actually used the Baltimores. be 50. There we go. Grab some light cruisers. Have any Brooklyn's we can use? Nope. What about Atlanta's? And yeah, they're all used up. Cleveland's. There's... Two Cleveland's. Brings us up to here. 109. Yep. And we can add a destroyer. We've got eight, so we'll go the best we can get with eight. One of these guys, a Bagley. Send the blue out. And we'll uh, rearrange you. Three. Five, yep, that's good. That's fine. Cruiser Group 1. Is now in existence. That's all of our command points for the week. Wanted to get another... Uh, another force out here. No, I'm not really sure what to do with them. <laughs> uh, we could send them down. Actually, that's a level five. Send them down here like this for now. Uh, fast attack one. I think I need to get... Let's see, what do we have? Fast attack, fast attack one. Fast attack one. Fast attack one. Gotta rename you. Oh. Best attack two. Alright, we got our destroyers patrolling here. We'll set you up. On a patrol like this. I haven't seen anything in this area. Fast Attack 3. I'm going to send Fast Attack 2 up into this area here. 
Uh, well, I don't know. A lot of them. Oh, whatever. That's fine. It's fine. Uh, supply convoy's moving down. So, we should be in a pretty good good position to move on Palembang pretty soon. Uh, Tawi Tawi is looking good once that falls. Um, I'm assuming by the time these supply convoys get down here, uh, we'll have another batch of supplies to work with. I guess I could let it run for a couple weeks and just bank the supplies and just steamroll this entire island with them. Um, that's a lot of downtime sitting, me staring at the computer. Not to mention all the air attacks that I'd have to deal with, so I'm going to play it out. There's this. One ship very fast, maybe a destroyer. Hellcats. Who would they, we could put a torpedo on Hellcats. Eh. Send them in to do some strafing. And then, uh, as far as bombers go... <laughs> ah, excuse me. Corsairs, why not? Six 100 pound bombs. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna. Why not? Rockets. You can strafe too. Really want to. Oh, they're. Like they're moving away. Not sure where they're going, but we'll follow. All right, let's see what this is. Get our Corsairs selected. Go ahead and attack. our Hellcats turned around before they shot down. I don't even know what this is. Move them out like that. Drop their speed. Drop their altitude. Ah, turn around. Quickly. Drop your altitude. Oh, it is a destroyer. That's a nice looking destroyer too. have here uh, got a lot of torpedoes I see three torpedo launchers, but I don't see anything uh, in on the... Uh... Wait, could this possibly be a light cruiser? Nope. Well, it's a destroyer, so... Hellcats... Go in... Oh, hang on. I should have dropped their speed first. There we go. Let's see how they do with the rockets. I haven't had much luck with any of these rockets, so... That's why I haven't really been using them that much. One individual destroyer.
There we go. We did some damage. We lost a couple planes, too. Yeah. A couple of our Corsairs got shot down. Quite a few of our Corsairs got shot down. Alright, go ahead and run on in. We got the uh, next flight moving in for a strafing run. Check the damage is here. Moderate and minor. Wow. Maybe I should have sent something with some bigger bombs. Got our um, two remaining Corsairs coming back around. Getting from the starboard quarter in the bow. Oh, there's more out here, too. Three-prong approach. There we go. Did some damage to... Some damage to her that time. We have left here. One Corsair. Oh no, all three of our Corsairs are still alive. Barely. Get you, uh... Get you turn back around and make another run here. We got our... Group of four moving in at a somewhat leisurely pace. Critical and moderate. So they're going to go in, they're going to strafe the hell out of that destroyer and see what we can come up with here. All right, well, uh, <laughs> Del Monte. Now, th this is the thing that I've noticed about this game, is I had Fast Attack 2 patrolling in this area for the a, a long time. Didn't see a damn thing. I moved them out, and here they are. So our carriers are actually going to make an offensive strike on a surface fleet. We are going to launch... I don't think we really need to launch all that. Launch our... Uh, Dauntlesses. Send you up. Bogue will launch... Their Avengers send you over. Uh, let's see, Enterprise will launch Dallas is too. All right, we'll get them all over. It'll probably just be a matter of that. Hopefully, they get there in time.
Oh, really? Uh, whoops. All right, well, we'll deal with this first, I guess. You see it, we don't have any cap. I haven't seen any planes in this area in forever, so I didn't really bother. Very time consuming, but now you're gonna see the results of that. All right, let's see how this goes. Oh, there's a lot of them too. Moving in on the Pensacola, kind of, I think. Yeah, moving in on the Pensacola. Let's break her off. Turn. All right, bombs are dropped. None hit. Atlantis are doing wonderful work. All that flak is going to fly right through it. Sorry, Alabama. It looks like they're moving in on the Craven. And there they go. Well, there's two more. And the bombs are dropped. Missed. Thank God. I don't think Craven would have made... Uh, would have worked... Made out very good in that. That's what I'm trying to say there. Alright, so we took some damage on the... Battleship. I don't think it's too bad. Oh, it is... Somewhat bad. But it's all fixable, so uh, looks like she's got one of her main guns out of action. Nope. All right. Atlanta, let's have the uh, convoy come to a stop. And we'll get the damages on the Alabama fixed. Most of our Dauntlesses are moving in here. We've got a flight moving in on that group there. We've got some that are moving in here. They all missed. They did not. They did not. They did not. And so, so far so good. rest of them I sent kind of so far out here. All right, there's one that's sinking. <clears throat> there's three that are sinking, so uh, these guys now suddenly have no target. Where would you be? You move in on number six. bomb still. What should you do? Go for number five. We still do have uh let's uh have you go for number five too. We've got Avengers still. Kinda far out. Well not really. 
Go pick off the survivors. How's that? Not bad attack so far. Uh, I'm missing a lot of the stuff. All right, they're diving at the same time as their squadron mates are diving. There's that. Right, we got two more coming in on this transport here. No, nope, she's sinking. That leaves number one and number three. I don't think either one of these guys have been hit, so... Uh, Daunt, uh, Avengers, I mean. Oh, you're way out there. Or we got number six. Have you come in like that? Have this flight of Dauntlesses. I'll have you target number three. Head in that general direction, and then these Avengers. You're not in a bad spot to make them run on this number three here. I'll get you in. from but let's move in there we drop we did may get one hit here got a bunch of torpedoes moving in on the other ship May just skirt it. Nope. Looks like if it's not a dud. There we go. There's one hit. The second one should hit. Three hits there. Number six is just a beast, apparently. Okay, so we still have these this group here. All right, there she goes. We know who we're going after with this group. We'll go after number six. Number six, smallest ship in the group, and turns out to be a fairly robust little vessel. Still moving, too. Um, the should be all right to start turning in. break these guys off and send them in individually. There we go, everyone's moving in. Putting up a fight. Fisher away. Fisher away. All three fish are away now. Watch them all be duds. And I gotta send the Avengers in to strafe. And 
Uh, the middle one looks good. This one might hit too. Yeah, this one's not looking too bad. We actually lost an Avenger there. Unfortunate. Given that fact, fast attack three, two, I mean, and return to her patrol station in between the islands. Uh, we do have our battleship parade moving into Bombard Kuching. I think that's where a majority of the <coughs> air attacks are coming from. I mean, it's the only thing they really have left. There's a level one there, but. Uh, this one's uh, level one port and level four airfield. So we're going to scrape that down and then take a look here. Here's our supply convoy still moving in. Uh, the next one is... That's our fuel convoy. They're heading up. Heading up. Heading up. Where the hell did they go? No, I got another supply convoy out here somewhere. Uh, task force. I think they're empty. Yep. Nola supply is also empty. Oh, we did take Tawi Tawi. So, just waiting for that to uh, wind down. Then we're going to get the uh, supplies in. Where the hell is my other supply convoy? <laughs> interesting all right all right so here we are uh, eh. yeah we'll send task force Tar Heel in there too but they're gonna it's two and a half hours oh they're gonna get there after five Uh, tell you what, seems I left Task Force Empire behind because they're really slow. I'm gonna pull them back, then pull Task Force Tar Heel back until we see the results of this. Let's uh, start with Task Force Oz, and we're looking at I think it was a. F one and a four. All right, Task Force Oz. Crimson Tide. And Task Force Mo. Oops. You guys can go. I think that's pretty uh pretty effective there. Hmm. So got a level two port here now. Uh Task Force Empire and Task Force Tar Heel are going to go up there and uh bombard them. Um and then not too long here we should have our supply convoy down in the theater ready to provide some supplies for the invasion of palembang anyway that's going to do it for today's episode if you liked it hit the like button if you have any thoughts tips or advice leave those in the comment section below if you want to follow along through the rest of the pacific campaign hit the subscribe and uh you could take part in choosing what our next War on the Sea series is going to be. So, there's three options. And I'm going to leave that up to you, the viewer. J76NY saying thank you very much for watching and have yourself a very good day. <laughs>